Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So do you want to learn a way that you can easily lose weight on a daily basis without even having to eat the most healthiest diet? Because a lot of people find it really hard to stay disciplined to eat a healthy diet. Even though I do promote eating a whole foods plant-based diet, with these amazing foods that are just really nutrient rich and just help you reach the highest state of health in your mind and body. But I do understand that not everyone feels that they can do this for one reason or another. But from what I have found since I learned about intermittent fasting well over six months ago is so many people that go from eating what I would call a standard American diet and then they switch to intermittent fasting they find that their weight just starts to rapidly drop down and they haven't even had to change their diet or they've just modified it a little bit. So what I find, this is one of the best things that I've learned out there that is like a weight loss cheat hack, so to speak. So there are different forms of intermittent fasting. If you don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's basically restricting your eating window to a smaller time and going for a longer extended period without eating because the majority of us are sleeping throughout the night and not eating in the middle of the night so we are fasting that's why when we wake up the next morning we have break first break fast because you are literally breaking your fast when you eat in the morning and what I will mention, there is a lot of different methods out there for intermittent fasting. There's the 16-8 method, which seems to be the most common intermittent fasting method that people do out there, and that's the method that I do as well. I have found that it's easy to sustain long-term, and from day one, I have found it effortless. You may not do, but yeah, we're not all the same. And then there's the 5-2 method where you eat normally for five days a week and then you fast for two days a week, which I find that for a lot of people, the energy is going to be quite low because they're not supplying their body with the food that they need to fuel themselves. So I also find as well, a lot of people can get massive cravings and just not being able to sustain it long term due to these insane cravings and having low energy levels and also it can affect your mood in a negative way as well. And there are other methods as well but they're the two most common methods that people are aware of. So how you do this is very very simple. So with the 16-8 intermittent fasting method that I use I normally stop eating around 6 p.m. and then I go to bed around 8 to 9 p.m. So say I stay up till 9 p.m. and I stop finishing eating at 6 p.m. As soon as I stop eating is when I'm in my fasting state, well, the beginning process of it. So you start counting your hours of fasting from them. So for three hours before I go to bed, I've already fasted three hours out of the 16 hour window. And then I wake up, say, at 6 a.m. So basically that's another nine hours on top of that because I've been sleeping for that amount of time. So that's 12 hours. So when I wake up, I only have four hours of actually being awake after I wake up in the morning where I need to fast and that is 16 hours. So for me, just basically pushing back the first meal of the day to later in the day makes it really, really easy for me. And even my dad started doing this months ago and he found it as easy as me. But some people don't due to a few mistakes that they do make. And the number one reason that I find is, is people are under eating on calories. So making sure that you are eating bigger meals during your eating window. So your eating window is gonna be around eight hours. If you cannot stick to that and it needs to be a bit longer or you wanna do it a bit shorter, then go for it. It doesn't really make much of a difference because for a lot of people, being very strict and sticking to 16 hours of fasting and eight hours may be a lot for their mind and they may just give up on it because it, yeah, it just becomes more stress than it's worth for them. And the second reason is people are not hydrating themselves enough. When you feel hungry, drink a load of water. If you want to, you can drink zero calorie drinks and you may drink coffee as well. I personally only drink water because these zero calorie drinks are full of chemicals and they're not very good for you. And coffee just overstimulates my adrenals and it has a whole host of negative effects. Some people get on with it okay, but 
for me my energy levels are amazing when I'm fasting but if you do need that then go for it that's absolutely fine so make sure you are very very well hydrated and another way that I found to get rid of this as well is through exercise when I exercise it suppresses my appetite and there's a lot of information and research to back this up that you can look up online and the reason why it's so amazing for weight loss benefits is when you're in that fasted state a few hours after eating the last meal your body starts to burn through all of the glucose in your blood and then once that's gone it taps into the stored glucose known as glycogen which is mainly stored within the liver and some in the muscles as well and once that's gone it starts to tap into your body fat and burn that as fuel so that's why it's so effective because so many people in the everyday life are eating all day throughout the day and they're just completely burning glucose or any other fuel source that they're using whether it's fat or protein to get their energy levels up then yeah they're never getting to that point of actually tapping into their fat reserves and this is why so many people gain weight and basically what you're doing is tapping in to a natural way of losing weight because when we used to live in our natural habitats we didn't have stores that were open all of the time or a lot of the time and we didn't have access to an abundance of food at all times so we would be going through fasted states so our body had a very effective way to burn fat as fuel programmed within us naturally because if it didn't we would have not survived and we would not be here today and what we'll say some people will get into a fasted state where they're burning their body fat as fuel quicker than others depending on two factors if you've got someone that's eating less calories and or they're just a lot more active in their life or they're a lot more stressed they are going to be depleting the glucose and the glycogen out of their body quicker and also another reason why especially for men that is brilliant for weight loss is it significantly as shown through scientific research to increase testosterone levels massively and most men as they get older their testosterone levels are declining estrogen is going up which makes you gain body fat and lose muscle mass so if you come under this category with having low testosterone levels and being older and finding it hard to lose weight and gain muscle then I highly recommend intermittent fasting my dad's around 45 years old and he's been hardcore into all different fitness regimes and different workouts for tens of years and he looks very athletic but he's always had a bit of excess fat around his stomach region and then when he started the intermittent fasting months ago he started to lose that belly fat finally and that's one of the reasons why he sticks to it and why he just absolutely loves it and one last thing i will add is you can consume supplements in your fasting state as long as they do not contain any calories whatsoever so yeah if you have any more questions on this subject leave them down below and if you have any video ideas for me on intermittent fasting that you would love to know more information about then let me know because i've studied this subject so much from all the best people possible i've done it for quite a long time now and i've helped a lot of other people get on to this method for losing weight and also just gaining an amazing health benefits from this because it doesn't just give you weight loss benefits it also improves your memory it increases your energy levels it helps regulate other hormones better and so many other different wide array of benefits as well to help you achieve the highest state of health mentally and physically holistically and i know that i want that and i'm sure a lot of people want to feel the best every single day because a lot of people aren't feeling optimal and it just brings down your mood and it doesn't help you go in the direction of having an abundance of energy to pursue all of your dreams and desires and maybe help them become a reality due to having all of that abundance of energy within you. So yeah, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, I love your feedback and share this with your friends, your family members, your peers because yeah, they may learn something very valuable in this video to help them get onto intermittent fasting and gain these weight loss benefits that they may be looking to gain and if you haven't already make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and make sure you hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button otherwise you will not be notified by email of when new videos come and yeah 
just go out there and seize the day and make sure that you do train on a consistent basis. Otherwise, you will not gain those gains. It's all about doing what is known as the compound effect, which is doing something consistently on a regular basis to get those gains. Because if you're doing it here and there, you're just gonna be up and down like a yo-yo, and it's gonna take you a longer time to achieve the body type that you desire. And yeah, a lot of people actually never achieve it. So yeah, keep pushing forward, keep striving forward, and know you can get there. Don't let anyone else tell you that you can't. Just ignore the naysayers. Just because they haven't achieved it doesn't mean that you can't. So yeah, stay strong, stay energetic, and go out and get those gains. Peace.